Okay, this is my junk computer. Placed the capacitors on it the other day, works great. I pirated from a band out of an old DVD player. Just dropped it. And I'm going to try to replace the rubber band in my DVD ROM drive because it does not work sticks. So anyway, stay tuned, I'll show you how it's done. Okay. So as you see before I gotta take your whole case apart on a particular model, front cover, all that. Unbolt your, uh, or unscrew rather, your CD-ROM drive. Move your top cover. I have, uh, what is it, four of those screws. And this is a DVD-ROM unit. You have to pop the front cover. Two clips right there. That's where your holes are. There and over there. So, push the little thing in. That's our rubber band. This is our new rubber band. I got a pause disc, get a screwdriver. So I can pop that on. Hopefully it works. Alright, that's our original one. This is our new one. I think the new one might be just a little bit bigger. That might be a problem. Or it just looks that way because the old ones, well, this one's a little more elongated. Anyway, I just popped it off my screwdriver. Lift it up. Boom. Out. So, which one was the new one? I'll put this one back in. This one's pretty dry. So we'll keep that one around though, just in case we need it, but run out of time, gotta put it back together. Well, my rubber band was too long, so I made one, cut it out, glued it back together to about that size. So hopefully that'll work. See you in a couple of seconds. And we're so well. This thing's too damn bumpy with the cut in it. It goes da 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 da, but it opens. It jams up. This one's a piece of shit, and the, the uh, little pulley over here that spins on it, you hear it Zzzz. so I tried silicone spraying it I even put it in a microwave for a second try to shrink it but it didn't work in this thing it's crap so I need to find an o-ring if anyone has one like that let me know probably got a couple car o-rings that are close but I don't even know where they are <sighs> so there's our awesome sweet computer should fix my LED light over here it's a piece of shit. So, that's how you uh, take apart the drive, try to fix it. It's definitely the problem. It's got to match up a rubber band, which is a. Oh, yeah, how about a 9005 or 6 headlight o ring? Oh, yeah, found it in my toolbox. I think it might work. Let's throw it on, see what happens. It fits pretty good. Pretty tight, had a nice snap to it. Okay, doesn't fall off or nothing. Let's go uh, put this case together, plug it back in, see if it works. Alright, if anyone steals my idea, I'm gonna kick your ass because I just had an idea how to make millions of dollars. Uh huh. Headlight bulb o ring. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Genius, man. Keep looking around in your junk, you'll find something. That thing is way better than anything I've seen because those are like silicon and those are meant to um, seal out water, you know, and headlight bulbs get hot. So I think that's going to last a long time. Awesome. So, what kind of bulb is it off again? I'm not telling you. It's my secret. <laughs> Have a good one. Hope this helps someone. What is this thing anyway? Um, Hoshiba. So, we got our screws back in. This is my little car, by the way. New motor, new servo. Oh, yeah, runs good. Takes my switch. Doing a lot of electrical repairs lately. But, yeah, this is my old piece of junk. Putting a, gonna put the drive back in. If anyone knows about those little lights, let me know. I want to put my little light back on. It's cool. I need a new one of those things. Awesome. Headlight O-ring people. When your bulb blows out in your car, take the O-ring off. Oh, uh, being that I'm a nice guy, if anyone steals my ID, I'll kick your ass too. Seriously. <laughs> Is that a threat? No, nah, no I won't. Just trying to save you guys money. But that's your O-ring right there. See on a headlight bulb. They all usually have it. That's off an old uh, Sylvania bulb. I probably have one in here. Up another one. See they come in all different colors. Red. That yellow, the other one is gray. Uh, 
Um, I don't know if I have any more headlight bulbs. But that even could have been off like a 9004 bulb, which would be in here. Hold on, hold on. Hope these aren't auto rams I'm messing with. Uh, no, those are too big. Never mind. Too big, too big. What? Oh, here's one right here. I'll show you. See? Red again. These little things will work. And like they're silicon, they're going to last a long time. So let me put this back in and um, I'll play with my little toy car. Now. <laughs> There's the other one. There's the headlight bulb. Almost the same size. Uh, somehow I shorted up my computer or something. I was plugging this crap in and this turned off. That was pretty strange. Hopefully it still boots. Yeah, it seems like it. But, yep. Prove that it works. There you go. So let's see if my computer turns on. It looks like it. Oh, what was that all about? I connected this connector when it was running. Whoops. And I had to turn off my switch. Turn it back on. That was good. Pretty strange. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm applying automotive repairs with my other stuff. So, process is burning. Final check. 